All right, so this is the moment everyone's been waiting for, is using that radian function in your calculator. So with your radian function, um, we, can, we can convert from using pi's, or using pi, or like actually determine what the value of radian is when we were, if we were to type out that ratio in our calculator. And so this is one way to do it to actually calculate using cosecants with your radians in your calculators. So there's no cosecant button, there's no secant button, and there's no cotan button. In order to use any of those buttons, we need to use the reciprocal function of sine, so 1 over sine or 1 over cosine or 1 over tangent, in order to find out what the reciprocals of those values are. So if you're looking for the cosecant of 5 pi over 6, then what you would have to do is, first of all, go to mode, make sure you're in radians, if you're using radians, and uh, then you would have to type in cosecant 5 pi over 6, or 1, since there's no cosecant button, you'd have to go 1 divided by sine times 5 pi divided by 6, and you get your answer of 2. Another way you can do it is first find out what sine 5 pi over 6 is equal to, 0.5, 1 half, and then just go 1 over that answer, 1 over 0.5, and you get the same answer of 2. So let's, let's look at a few examples here. Well, first of all, I have... Uh, sine 280 degrees, so if I'm in degrees, then I need to use the degrees mode in the calculator. So I gotta switch back from radians to degrees, clear, sine 280, I get an answer of negative, nine, negative 0.9848. And if I'm looking for, um, and that's sine, right? And so I'm not looking for secant or anything like that, so I can just, um, to four decimal places, put that as my answer. So that was negative 0.9848. Now the next one we're looking at is tan 7 pi over 6. Um, we're in radians here, so back to radian modes, and it's tan 7 pi over 6. And I get an answer of 0.5773 or 0 0.5774, so 0.5774. So the, uh, the top two are exactly like that, but let's look at these ones here. Well, let's look at cosecant and cotangent. So if I'm looking at the cosecant of negative 225 degrees, remember cosecant is just 1 over sine theta, but we're looking at 1 over sine negative 225 degrees. Nope, degrees. And so I gotta go back to degree, mo degree mode. And I'm gonna go um, sine negative 225 degrees. I get 0.707, but I gotta divide 1 by that answer. And I get 1.4142. 1.4142. That's my answer. Now I'm looking at the cotan. The cotan of 13 pi over 6. Got to go back to my mode and switch over to degrees. Um, but remember, that's 10, right? So that's going to be the same thing as saying 1 over the 10 of negative 13 pi over 6. So, 10, 13 pi divided by 6, 1 divided by that answer, and we get 1.732. Oh, I'm sorry, that should have been negative here. So that's, this is going to end up being negative 1.73. Negative 1.7321. 1. Um, I forgot to put that negative in the calculator. All right.
next we're going to be looking at expressing trig ratios and angle in terms of a reference angle. So if I know what my reference angle, can I, can I express that ratio in terms of my reference angle? And so in order to do that, we just follow this approach. So the first thing is determine the sign of the ratio, and then we determine the measure of the reference angle, the smallest acute angle, and then we combine um, both of these, both parts of these. So in this example, cosine 11 pi over 8, if we know that, so as, as the cosine of an acute angle using the above procedure, we know that the sine is going to be negative because if I think about where cosine 11 pi over 8 is, remember this is pi, and so 11 over 11 pi over 8 I know is just going to be around here. And so if I if I have cosine here, this is negative. And then if I were to um, subtract pi from 11 pi over 8, 11 pi over 8 minus pi, I get my reference angle of 3 pi over 8 because I need to make this 8 and this 8. 11 minus 8 is 3 pi over 8, and it's going to be negative if we're looking about if we're looking at the cosine. So that would be negative cosine 3 pi over 8. So let's look at this example here. Um, I'll start with finding out where this angle is. So I have 7 pi over 4. Um, if I if I'm looking for 7 pi over 4, well this is going to if I have pi, it's going to end up here, and then I have um, 3 left over, which is going to end up over here. And so my rep, my, I have a positive reference angle because cosine is add sugar to coffee is positive here. So we've established that we have a positive sign. Now we got to determine our reference angle. The reference angle is going to be, if you use 2 pi here, so 7 pi over 4, and subtract 2 pi. have one fourth pi and sorry that should have been the other way around otherwise that's negative but we have one fourth pi and that's supposed to be positive so cosine pi over four um, last example we'll look at is example five so the point negative 15 over 8 lies on the terminal arm so 15 over 8 of my rotation angle theta in standard position. So mark the angle on the diagram. So the angle we're looking at, if it's if this is in standard position, is right here, and this is theta. We want to calculate the exact length from here to here, and that's um, my length of OP. And in order to do that, uh, we can look at this as my. We can look, think about this as a triangle, right? I know that this is negative 15 and this is positive 8. And if this is my hypotenuse, then r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. r squared is equal to negative 15 squared plus 8 squared. <clears throat> um, r squared then is equal to Two hundred eighty-nine, and if we take the square root of that, r is equal to seventeen. So my length OP is equal to seventeen, and there's no units attached to that. Uh, next thing we gotta use is use x equals negative fifteen, y equals eight, and r, which is equal to seventeen. To determine the exact values of the primary and reciprocal trig ratios for my angle theta. Okay, so sine theta, 
seven yellow rabbits is equal to um, y was eight, r is 17. Cosine theta is x over r, so that is equal to negative 15 over 17. Tan theta, opposite over hypotenuse, or y over x is equal to negative 8 over 15. Um, if we're thinking about the cosecant theta, remember that's the opposite of this. That's a reciprocal of this. So that's going to be 17 over 8. The secant of theta is the opposite of this. So r over x, that's going to be 17 over negative 15. And my cotan ratio is the opposite of this. It's going to be 15 over negative.